What is up everybody? Welcome back to BRD Tour. On today's special episode, we're gonna be taking a look at something imported from Belgium. This is the original Belgian wheat beer. Let's do this. All right, guys, so on deck, we have something imported from Belgium. It's an international beer. So I wanted to try something different. I wanted to get out of uh, the style of beers I've been reviewing so far, which is craft beers from here, from Washington, Oregon, California. I wanted to go over Europe, try something different. That's what the show is all about. So I wanted to review something that I've never tried before. This is listed as a Belgian wheat beer. I believe it's pronounced Ho Garden. Might be wrong, hopefully I'm not. Uh, but Ho Garden is actually a village in Belgium. It's been around since the Middle Ages, 19th century. There have been breweries there that have been uh, cranking out these type of beers. This is a little bit more modern, but it's basically inspired by their creations back in the day. So it is brewed with coriander and orange peel. Now this does have the ABV or alcohol by volume of 4.9%. Not too bad, that's pretty good. It's naturally cloudy. I can tell it's hazy just by looking through the bottle here, but I won't know until I pour it. And just to let you guys know, this did receive a um, 2016 World Beer Cup Gold Award for Best Belgian Style Wit Beer which I believe is uh, a white beer that's listed on there. So let's pour this bad boy and see what it looks like. All right, so let's get things started and we're gonna be pouring uh, this original Belgian wheat beer called Ho Garden. So I did wanna read off to you guys the description here. Almost 600 years ago in a Belgian village of Ho Garden, a band of monks experimented by adding oddball botanicals from halfway around the world to their traditional beer. Our recipe inspired by their creation is an unfiltered beer with a refreshing flavor and a captivating aroma unlike anything in the world. You might call it an inspired creation. We call it Ho Garden. One cool thing about this beer is it actually shows you guys how to pour the beer. So there's four steps on the back here. Uh, step one, chill the beer, that's done. Step two, pour two thirds into the glass. Step three, swirl the rest of the beer. And step four, top off and of course, enjoy. So we're gonna be following these steps exactly as described. So we get all the aroma, all the spices going on there. And then we're gonna give it a taste. But first, let's pour it off. So let's pour two thirds in here. Okay, so we have a nice thick foam head there. A nice, very, uh, it's a little milky, but not too bad. It's like a yellow blonde color. And then we're gonna swirl the rest here. Make sure we get a nice mixture going. And now let's pour up and top it off. And there we are. So that is Ho Garden, the original Belgian wheat beer. Uh, very nice, subtle um, yellow, and then it becomes a nice golden uh, pineapple color at the very top and a nice thick foam head as well. Uh, let's pour a little bit more in there. That way we get the full glass effect. All right, there we have it. We've poured out the original Belgian wheat beer. I poured a little bit more in there just so you guys can see a full nice glass there. I love this hue here. You can see a very clear yellow up to a nice golden uh, color there. Let's get some aroma going. So sweet, it's a little mellow. 
But you can definitely smell the orange peel and the coriander there. A little fruity, but definitely the orange peel. This reminds me a lot of like a blue moon and I feel like it's gonna taste like it just because of the orange peel. And I believe Blue Moon is also a Belgian style wheat beer. Uh, so it's probably gonna have the same sort of notes there. Well, let's try it out, guys. This is the imported Belgian beer. Let's try it out. Cheers, guys. Okay. It's actually very mellow. It has a nice sweet beginning. So it's sweet, it's nice and mellow. It does have a little bit of a uh, uh, orange peel aftertaste. It's not bitter at all. It's a little bit delicate in that, uh, that you don't get that bitterness from the beer. It's obviously a nice light beer. It's a little hazy, uh, but not strong at all. I thought it was gonna be overpowering. It doesn't have a lot of spices, it's unfiltered. Um, but I think this is very mellow. It's very mellow. It's nice. It's sweet. It does remind me a little bit of like Blue Moon. Um, so if you like Blue Moon, you're probably gonna like this a lot. It's almost smoother and a lot sweeter than Blue Moon. So I think uh, this is a winner here. I really like the taste of this. Um, the citrus uh, is the main part of this. And if you like citrus, if you like orange peel uh, type of beers, then you're gonna love this. Very interesting, but very good. All right, guys, let's wrap things up with the beer detour score. Uh, very surprising. I do, I do like this beer. Um, it's something new. It's something imported. Uh, but that's what I want you guys to try out. Listen, guys, try out different beers. You're probably not going to find this at your local grocery store. You're probably going to have to dig a little bit. Um, try out craft beer places, specialty places that sell beer, imported beer. Find something new, give it a try. That's the whole point of this show, is to try out different kind of beers. So I do wanna do more uh, imported beers, international beers, different kind of weird beers that you're probably not gonna hear about. But just try different things out, you'll be pleasantly surprised. I highly recommend this to any friend that likes um, that sort of uh, citrusy, fruity, but, but mellow tasting beer, okay? So it does, if you've tried Blue Moon, very subtle. Blue Moon flavor in regards to the orange peel and the coriander, um, but very nice and soft and delicate tasting beer. I like it. No surprising that I won an award there, um, but in regards to a beer detour score, I'm gonna give this uh, original Belgian wheat beer, Ho Garden, an 8.8. .8. That's a good score. And the reason I'm gonna give it that 8.8 .8 is because it's it's something that everybody can pick up and drink. If you're not into IPAs, you're really gonna like this. It's very mellow, there's no bitterness to it. And you don't have to have a crazy palate to enjoy this. It's gonna taste a little like the orange peel tasting citrusy fruity flavor. If you're into that, you're gonna enjoy this. So if this is broad, uh, appeal to everybody. Everybody's gonna like this, I think. It's something different, so just by looking at it, you might be a little scared and put off by it. But try it out, guys. Experiment, try different stuff out there. That's the whole point of this show. Uh, and I do really like this one. I appreciate each and every one of you guys tuning in for another episode of Beardy Tour. We had a specialty here, the original Belgian wheat beer. It's a new one. Try out different things. That's the whole point of this episode. Thank you guys for tuning in, like I said. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. You wanna hit that notification bell, that way you're alerted every time a new video drops. And as always, give this video and all my videos a thumbs up. It does help. I will see you guys next time.